What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today I am pretty friggin' excited because I finally have the McFarlane Destiny figures, or the ones that I want anyway for now. We have the Titan, the King's Fall Warlock, and the Iron Banner Hunter. Really, I'm looking forward to getting into these guys. We're gonna do separate videos on all of them. We're gonna start off with the Titan because I do main a Titan. Then we're gonna go to the Warlock, and then we're gonna follow up with the Hunter. So let's jump right into it. Before we go ahead and unbox him, let's just take a look at the box here for the Vault of Glass Titan. Very, very cool packaging. Apologies for the glare. There's really not a whole lot I can do about that see he does come with a Galahorn and the Invective shotgun. Very, very cool. On the back here, we have all the other McFarlane figures that you can get. Hunter, the Titan, the Warlock, and of course, Saladin, who I do not believe is out yet. Uh, I'm going to work on getting him because he will be the pride and joy of my collection with these guys. I've been looking forward to these for a very, very long time. Had them pre-ordered for ages and they finally showed up and I cannot wait to get into this. So here is the McFarlane Vault of Glass Titan out of the packaging. And I've got to say, I really, really like the look of this guy. They aren't play toys, they are display toys, and that's really the, sort of the point of them. These guys are gonna look amazing on display, and uh, I can't wait to get the rest of them, because I've got the, obviously, the Hunter and the and the, uh, the Warlock, but also Saladin, and then some of the other ones with the different shaders. You can get the Titan with the Blacksmith shader, it's gonna be sexy, but anyway, here is the Titan. This guy is basically my Titan from year one. I made a Titan for quite a while, had all the raid gear, and this is what my Titan looked like. Although, minus the chest piece, I had the armamentarium instead. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the guns that he comes with. He comes with the Invective. Now, the one thing I will say is that the wrists are really, really loose on my figure, so just watch out for that. But the guns he comes with are obviously the Invective and the one and only Galahorn. Let's take a look at Galahorn first because it is just friggin' beautiful. Look at it. Really nice gold paint apps on there. Very, very nice looking. Yeah, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nicely painted, nicely detailed. This piece does actually come out. Uh, so if you want to have it a bit more flush, but there we go. Make sure you don't get that stuck in, the, uh, in his back because that did actually happen to me and I had to get some pliers to get it out. But there is the Galahorn. And as for the Invective, here is the Invective. I really don't know why the Invective came with the Titan, because the Invective was Ikora's gun, so it should have been really for the Warlock, but whatever. Uh, got the nice sort of runes on there. Very, very nice looking. He also comes with a very tiny ghost. Now, hopefully that's focusing in properly, but there you go. Paint apps on mine are a little bit wonky. It looks like he's kind of looking off to the side, but he comes with a nice little orange vanguard ghost shell, which is pretty cool. Now onto the main event himself. Let's take him off this stand here and get a good look at him. Now the paint apps on mine are a little bit hit and miss. On the helmet there you can see that the uh, the red on the eye is a little bit out of whack, but it's not too terribly bad. Also another bit of a gripe I have is that they used blue for the under sort of mesh of his armor, whereas in the game I believe it was black or close to a gray, I can't be certain, but whatever. It's, it's no big deal. Now, another little bit of a gripe I do have is the wrist joints are incredibly loose and it means that he doesn't really hold his guns very well. I tried to make him hold the invective earlier and uh, you really have to sort of try and wedge it in there and sort of put it against his arm just to make it sort of sit flush and not actually just sort of fall down. Uh, so it, that, that's a, it's a bit of a problem, but it's not too terribly bad. Overall though, I think this guy looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love the bronze color scheme. Very faithful to the in-game raid armor. On the Titan mark, we do have some nice detailing. We also have the knife just up here. I do wish he came with the, uh, there was a class item in the game from the, uh, the Vault of Glass raid called the Light of the Great Prism. And it was sort of like a, a holographic sort of Titan mark. And I kind of wish that they, this, this figure had it because it was very, very cool. But I guess it's you know, obviously because it was see-through and it's holographic, it'd be kind of difficult to do on this figure. But I can see why we actually got this one instead. Although this is actually, I believe this is actually a class item you can get from the Age of Triumph. Correct me if I'm wrong or not. Articulation wise, this guy's head can rotate left and right, although I would not force it because it doesn't feel entirely safe. The arms up here, kind of hampered due to the big sort of pauldron on the side here, but it can rotate a full 360 degrees that way. Bend at the elbow and the wrists can rotate 360 degrees, but like I said, they are incredibly loose. The, uh, the chest here can rotate, it can sort of do a bit of an ab crunch and sort of rotate at the chest. No waist articulation, unfortunately. The legs can bend in and out. Just like that. He can, uh, can he rotate at the thigh? No, he can't. He can't rotate at the thigh. Uh, bend at the knee, and the feet do pivot as well, so you can sort of try and pose him a little bit. Although, to be honest, just having these guys stood up nicely is going to be enough for me. They don't really need to pull off some mega gymnastic sort of poses, but look at him. He's beautiful. Now, as for the weapons, they do have this little peg on the back here, so that can just sort of peg into there, and you can have the shotgun on his back, but also you can put the Galahorn using the same peg onto his back. 
just like that so you can store those as you would in game but that is it for the vault of glass titan i just thought i would show it off show you all the details and i'm not very good at doing reviews of things that don't really transform because that's my usual bag but whatever i have played the hell out of destiny i basically lived and breathed the uh, the destiny game for the last three years and it is really really nice to finally have some toys of my classes and my characters because this is how my titan used to look and I'm really, really happy to actually have a figure of it. So there we go. Plus the raid armor is amazing. And it will always be the best Titan armor you could get from Destiny 1. There we go. There I said it. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the Warlock review, which is coming up next. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.